Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I made cookies out of Werther's candy and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. It basically tastes like the turtle's chocolate except in cookie form, which I love. It's my favorite. So we start off with your traditional chocolate chip cookie base. You'll need a half a cup of butter. You'll need a third cup of sugar, a half cup of brown sugar, and you'll need one large egg. And then you'll need a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla paste. I like to use the vanilla paste because I like seeing the black specks of vanilla in my desserts. I just love that. And then for the dry ingredients, you'll need one and a half cups of AP flour, all-purpose flour. I measured in the half teaspoon of kosher salt. You'll need a half teaspoon of baking soda. And I like to add a pinch of cinnamon to my chocolate chip cookie doughs. You can't really taste it, but it does add a bit of a kick and it adds the depth of flavor. You don't have to use it, but I just like to use it in mine. So for the additives, we have, of course, the Werther's candy. I like to use these little eclair caramels and they're so good on their own, but I thought they'd be amazing in a cookie. I used the dark chocolate calais and I used pecans as well. Now for the additives, I did have to do some chopping work. I did cut the callus into smaller shards and I did this because I wanted them to be dispersed more evenly into the cookie dough. I also did a rough chop on the pecans, pecans, however you want to say it. For the candy, I just cut them into thirds. And now I'll just let you watch as I continue to make this cookie dough better. Just a quick side note, right after I added the dry ingredients, I did add the chocolate into the cookie batter. So, sorry about that. Another quick sidebar is that when you're adding your candy and your pecans into your cookie batter, you want to make sure that you fully incorporate those ingredients in this batter. Otherwise, your pecans might burn in the oven if they're exposed and your candy also, if it's sticking out of the batter, will just melt away on your sheet pan as opposed to in your cookie and you won't really get to eat it. And that in and of itself would be a tragedy. video thanks so much for watching the full recipe will be in the description box below so please give these cookies a try whenever you've got a sweet tooth going please like and subscribe to my channel see you guys next time bye